All right, so old girl also started throwing a code. Um, it was code P0401, and it was for uh, lack of exhaust gas. Uh, it was an EGR code, I think, I'm pretty sure. That's what my Googling said anyway. So what I'm going to do is pull the uh, EGR off and give it, a, give it a shot or clean it up with some carb cleaner, and we'll see how, see if that code uh, goes away after this. All right, this right here, that's the EGR for any of the D16s. I'm gonna go ahead and unclip this here, and there's two 10 millimeter bolts on each side. Before we drop everything on the dang old ground, Not really too much, too many signs, not really too many signs of an exhaust leak around here, so might be good just throwing it back on. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how much a new one is. Probably just a few cents, a couple dollars. Connectors are all right. Sprayed some carb cleaner in here and try to break up that carbon that's down in there. So I'm just using regular carb and air intake cleaner for work on this EGR. Um, essentially, just those two holes right there is where it mates up to. So go ahead and dump some car cleaner down in there and let her sit. So getting into replacing this or cleaning out the the EGR valve for this Civic, uh, the circle hole or the round hole on the left, that's actually where the exhaust gas comes back uh, from the from the exhaust. And that's actually done through the head of the D16 engine. Uh, the square hole, that's where that exhaust gas is actually recirculated back into the intake system. So if you start it up right now, it, it sounds god awful. Um, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and, and replace that uh, sensor and valve back on here. VTEC, baby! Gotta love it right there. That's that VTEC e solenoid. Square to square. rectangle to rectangle, circle to circle. Anyway, so don't dump your dang old carb cleaner all over the place. Anyway, got the, uh, the EGR actually. Um, wiped out, cleaned off, good enough. I'm going to see what it sounds like without this gasket. I do drive this to and from work and around town, but we can easily pop in there and replace that gasket when we're when I get it. See if this just makes that code go away. Take your 12 mil 
nuts. Put them back on the studs. And I did it. Of course. This is what they make fucking... This is what they make freaking magnets for right here. I bet you it'd work with one, one nut on there. But we won't find out. Oh. Thankfully, fell all the way to the ground. All right, we'll get into it now. All right, and we'll just give it a little, a little burp, burp. Don't forget to plug it back in. So, two 12 mil millimeter nuts on the studs. Plug it back in and we'll see how it goes. There's the mileage. So 234, 600, and 42,000. Not bad. And I bet you I'm gonna have to get in here and clear codes. What I like using is one of these little little Bluetooth readers. It's just an OBD2, OBD2 Bluetooth adapter for Android VP11. Brand doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure these, I mean, all these are made in China, um, unfortunately, but hey, it keeps them cheap. I think they're like 15 bucks or something like that. Anyway, plug it in. I'm at right there. That's the OBD2 port. So just like that, you'll see it. See it light up. And it'll take a little bit to initialize. All right, guys. To uh, to use that OBD2 sensor or scanner um, over Bluetooth, you just need to have an app that will interface with it. So for me, I use an app called Torque. It's this guy right here. OBD2 check is the icon with the little check engine light and it, it's just named Torque. So I have the pro version without any ads. Um, what you guys can do is, I mean there is a free version that allows you to pull fault codes, clear codes, and, and read real time information with your uh, with a OBD2 diagnostic uh, tool connected to the, OBD, to the OBD2 port on your vehicle. So here you can see that it's reading the, the RPMs on the Civic. And there's a little bit of a delay. I mean, it's not instant. And uh, we'll go ahead and read the fault codes that we have. And look at that. Pops up real quick. So P0401, powertrain, exhaust gas, recirculation flow, insufficient detected. So we're going to let this finish, and then we'll go ahead and clear it, and we'll see if it pops back up. So you can use it. You can use some other features. You can look it up on the web from the app. We're gonna go ahead and close that, and we're gonna hit the three little dots up in the right-hand corner, and we're gonna select clear fault on ECU. Gives you a little warning, and we're gonna just select OK. And 
it's actually fairly quick. I mean, these older ECUs, they're not too complicated. And I believe uh, updates with the app have made it better at communicating with, uh, with built-in or with the uh, vehicle's ECUs. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we'll, we'll refresh, see if we can't get any codes. And what I'm seeing on the dash is the check engine light that you saw before went away. I'll show you that here in a moment. It does not sound like we have an exhaust leak, so doing pretty good. All right, so no fault code stored in the ECU. That is perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Let's see what else we see in this app. So we can get the RPMs, the throttle position, speed, vacuum, and coolant level, a few other things. And apparently it'll get your zero to 60. So that's kind of neat there, but you can actually, uh, see some diagnostic tools pop up here that the ECU is reporting. So for an HS, HX Civic, uh, their wideband sensor, uh, O2 sensor in this thing. So when those go out, they're like 400 bucks. And on a $500 car, a $400 sensor is pretty irritating to have to replace. Fortunately, this one does not seem like it's bad or has been bad. I don't know if the previous owner ever replaced it, but uh, it seems good for now. So we'll, uh, we'll we'll roll with it. Let that V Tech fly and scream, baby. You can do just about anything with this app. It's, it's actually pretty cool. All and then up here at the top, you can see, you know, the Bluetooth connected cars connected to the ECU, or the, uh, the dongles connected to the ECU, and then uh, you can set up a profile when you first open the app. So as y'all can see, the check engine light is, is no longer lit. We cleared that code, and uh, it'll probably take, uh, eh, it'll take a little bit of driving to see if it comes back to try and recreate what exactly caused it in the first place. So I checked the, uh, all around front here. Now I checked around the checked around the EGR and it, I don't feel any leaks, so we'll probably let it ride for a little while. Um, once I go ahead and start breaking everything open to do the, the gaskets and seals is when I'll I'll actually replace that gasket. Today I showed you guys how to pull the EGR off the Civic, uh, clean it out with some carb cleaner, and uh, replace it, and then clear the engine codes. If you guys enjoyed today's video, uh, leave a like and a comment down below, and uh, I'd appreciate it. It uh, helps me know that uh, people are engaged watching, or it lets me know if I need to improve on something. Alright guys, we'll